As of December 5th, 2021, St. Lucia has diagnosed a total of 13,048 cases in country with 119 active cases. Since the beginning of the outbreak in March 2020, four major waves of COVID-19 have occurred on island. The data suggests that the fourth wave has run its course, closing off on November 16, 2021, with a total of 7,340 cases. The daily infection rate for the last seven days is 5 per 100,000 population per day, with a transmission rate of 0 0.8. We have noted a total of 282 COVID-19 deaths. We have 12 positive cases admitted at the respiratory hospital, two are critically ill and four are severely ill. On November 26, 2021, the World Health Organization designated a B11529, a variant of concern named Omicron, based on the mutations that may impact its behavior. This variant was first reported to the World Health Organization from South Africa on November 24, 2021, and to date has been confirmed in the United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, Italy, Germany, Great Britain, Israel, Hong Kong, Belgium, Botswana, Portugal, Austria, Reunion, Spain, Brazil, Czech Republic, and the United States and the Netherlands. Based on the wide distribution of this new variant at this stage, and phylogeny studies, it is estimated that this new variant may have been in circulation from October 18, 2021. This makes travel restrictions from countries with confirmed cases less effective. To date, there is still limited information on Omicron. Preliminary evidence suggests that it is between 100 to 500 percent more transmissible than the original virus strain. The severity of the disease has not been confirmed compared to other infections from other variants. The common symptoms include strong fatigue, throat itchiness, dry cough, and muscular pain. Preliminary evidence suggests that there may be increased reinfection and breakthrough infections of vaccinated individuals with Omicron. Based on the information on variants, we know that they can cause severe disease or in particular to the most vulnerable. Our first line of defense must be prevention, followed by control and reduced transmission measures. The effectiveness of the available vaccines suggests that the current vaccines remain effective against severe disease and death. Omicron is accurately detected using PCR testing method, but it is not known whether it is detected by rapid antigen tests. The effectiveness of the current treatment regimens is also being assessed. In an effort to reduce the impact of this new variant and COVID-19 in general, specific interventions are necessary. These include increased surveillance for early detection, sequencing capacities which COFA has the ability to carry out, ensure optimum testing capacity and the strengthening of infection prevention and control measures and public health and social measures. Vaccination and booster doses for those advised remains our most important measure at this point in reducing the health implications of this new variant. The Ministry of Health reminds everyone of the following important measures. Avoid large crowds and crowded areas. Ensure the protocols are maintained at workplaces, on minibuses and the commercial and tourism sector. Use a face mask when in public places. Ensure you remain in quarantine or isolation if you are a direct contact of a case. If you develop respiratory symptoms, seek medical care and, con and avoid contact with others. The Pfizer and AstraZeneca vaccines are available at the various wellness centers and advertised sites. These vaccines have been proven to be safe and effective in protecting persons from developing COVID-19 in severe forms, complications, hospitalizations and death. The booster Pfizer vaccine is also available for those who have had both doses of the AstraZeneca for over six months. Everyone who has not been vaccinated is urged to get vaccinated urgently. The public health team is working closely with the regional public health agencies in obtaining updated timely information to guide the necessary measures in country. There is a high risk of this new variant being imported into the Caribbean region. At this point, countries are advised to continue strengthening their national protocols that are already in place. The Ministry of Health and Wellness will continue providing updates to the public as new information becomes available. Mm -hmm.